people, we did a vlog like this on the back recently. Not recently, a few months ago, called the Meat Debate. Hmm. Where we were, you remember that? Where we were arguing about what meat was best, so we decided to make a video. I think we do remember that. So, I, I, feel, I feel like the two most famous were chicken and beef. Oh, look at the cat. Oh my, and, and put the cat in the video? Look at that cat. I mean, he's part of the video. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're discussing something. Yeah, he features into the debate. Yes. It's not really a debate. It's more of a top ten. That's true. That's true. Top we ten debate, differences but... between him and our dog, Bogart. Mm -hmm. who, uh, who's, he's actually not new. We're just babysitting for him, but he used to actually be ours. We just gave him to Indocat. Murderer. Hey, you murderer. Well, that, since Archimedes just attacked you, that can actually be the first difference that we list. Yes. S Bogart is a very mellow, harmless, slow to anger creature. The only yeah. way Bogart can really hurt you is if he accidentally steps on you or bumps into you, you know? Yeah, he's pretty much blind. Mm -hmm. Next difference. He's blind. Cat's not. The cat has... Laser like focus and vision. Cat, your butt is not needed in a video. We're not comparing your butts, but we can compare their tails. Because Archimedes, being cat. Third, third, third. Yes, third. Thing. Third difference. Oh my god, cat. Oh my Lord, cat. Cat. Cat, cat, calm down now. Yeah, lose All your right. mind. Go over there and lose your mind. Anyway. Yes, Archimedes is a cat, so he has a very long, long tail. tail. It's very flowing, you know. While Bogart, pretty much doesn't even have a tail. Even by bulldog standards, he's got like no tail to speak of. Yeah, it's very it's unfortunate. Like, it's like it's, it's like a stump. It's like you know, a little tree stump on the end of his butt. <laughs> so when it wags, it's just like it has this like weird little butt wiggle going For on. For before. More of the top ten, we can compare their noses. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cat has a very clean, it's smooth, so smooth. Yeah. normal nose. No complaints about that cat's nose. But Bogart's, Bogart's. nose. Bogart's. It looks like a cracked, dried-out de desert landscape. Oh. It's very sad to look at. We gotta get some vitamin E oil to put on there. Yeah. That's how you fix a dog's nose when it's dried out. Vitamin E oil. All right. Vitamin E oil company should pay us for that advertisement. We <laughs> accept billions of dollars. Are you serious? Fine, millions. I'm willing to compromise. Next Are you difference. Serious? Next difference. Bogart's a dog. Archimedes a cat. That was an easy one. All right, next one. <laughs> um. How about their sizes? Oh yeah. We can easily compare that for number six. Mm -hmm. Archimedes is a is a cat. And things when you see Archimedes just his face, you might think, oh, it's a fat cat. But no, I mean, no, he's actually he's, a skinny he's a cat. Muscular. Yeah, he's a muscle. He's a he's a buff cat. He's not a fat cat well, at all. He's like Jasper in cat yes, form. Exactly. Except, except his, for his except his nose isn't a giant crystal. <laughs> that would be. That would, that would be even weirder than Bogart's nose. But anyway, yeah. we're talking about their size differences. So Archimedes, aside from his big, poofy, fat face, right. is not a fat cat. And Bogart, though, he's a bulldog. And bulldogs are a little, you know, a little stout. Especially when they're old. Don't get around as well as they used to. He's a bit of a, you know, it's like a sack of potatoes. He's <laughs> like an old sack of potatoes. An adorable, sweet, old sack of potatoes. That hopefully nobody's gonna try to eat. <laughs> Let's compare and taste. Um, no. Nope. Different, different number seven. I bet Bo Bogart would. He wouldn't taste. Now we're not gonna eat any of the pets, but if we were to eat the pets, I think just just being honest, Archimedes looks like he'd be more delicious. Yes. Bogart. Bogart is an old, gross bulldog who we love very much. <laughs> but does not look appetizing. Mm -mm. Even a master chef, I don't think, would really be able to do much with Bogart. All right. Mm. 
Do we have two more differences or one more difference? Well, we, we have seven. So we oh, there's seven to it. Oh, oh, Lord, I thought we were on eight, actually. No, we're on, we were on seven. Okay. Number then. eight. Hmm. All right, it's getting tricky now. Let's see. We should have planned this out. We should have wrote a script. No, it's improv... It, you know, the improvising adds a certain quality to it. Um, okay. Stay with us. We're, we're going somewhere with this. Okay. Well, I don't have a good sense of smell, so I can't say, but how do they smell? Can we do something else, please? Can we compare their ears? Okay. <laughs> cat has cat ears, you know, big. And dog, floppy. So yep. floppy. So they're both floppy. triangle shapes. They're both triangle shapes, but the cat, cat ones are up and the dog ones go over. Yeah. They don't, you wouldn't think that would be very good for their sense of hearing, having their own ears cover themselves like that. But then there's French Bulldogs. You know what French Bulldog is, right? Or Chihuahuas. Or Chihuahuas. But French Bulldogs are weird because they're like a Bulldog. So they're a little bit smaller. And the ears like that. And they look like Boston Terriers. In fact, nine times out of ten, it takes me a second to figure out whether I'm looking at a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog. Do you have the same problem, Sydney? The same terrible affliction of not being able to instantly tell a French oh, Bulldog Oh, I've never apart. seen a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog in person, so I mean... So it hasn't come up very much? Comment down below if you have people. All right, so we have exactly. two more differences. Okay, two more differences. Let's see. The cat cannot fart. The That's dog, true. Well, the dog silent, can o very deadly. obviously farts a lot. Silent Again. but deadly. Old bulldog goes with the territory. Okay. All right, this needs to be special because yes, it's the final one. Final one. You want to sing the final count? Final. It's the final moose down. <laughs> oh wow. But I'm at the down. Put a spin on it there. Okay. No, there's actually a guy named Final Moose Down who's, who's like, they were all playing with me like once. <laughs> it's the Final Moose I'm shocked. Down. Bow, bow. All right. I think, all right. I think they are, the audience is properly hyped at this point. So, the final difference between Archimedes and Folk. Hmm. hmm. Hmm, what is the most important difference that we have not figured out yet? Hmm. It's because I'm deep and insightful. <laughs> hmm. 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 Alright. This might take us ten hours. That's okay if it's a ten hour video. Because it's important that we figure this out right. But, but... It's okay if it's a 10 hour video. Do you know of how long I would be to upload? Is. More than 10 hours. Alright. Alright, well, the video can end as soon as you come up with the final difference between Archimedes and Bogart. Oh, I got one. They have different names. Hooray! Always go out on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, please subscribe. Bye.